In this video, we'll show you how to recognize compounds as being organic or inorganic. Chemists like to classify compounds in different ways. This helps people to focus on certain types and study them in more detail. One way to classify compounds is to take all compounds and classify them as either organic or inorganic. Historically, organic compounds were those coming from living things. But chemists have learned to synthesize or make organic compounds using chemical reactions. So a huge number of organic compounds are not found in living things. So our definition of organic has now changed. Organic compounds all contain hydrogen and carbon. And many contain elements like oxygen, nitrogen, or sulfur. Inorganic compounds include compounds that do not contain carbon. For example, NaCl, SO2, and NH3. But there are a few inorganic compounds that do contain carbon. It is important to know these so we don't mistakenly identify them as organic. Some types of inorganic compounds that contain carbon are oxides of carbon, like carbon monoxide, CO, and carbon dioxide. Any compound that contains the carbonate ion, or CO3-2-. Examples include potassium carbonate, K2CO3, and calcium carbonate, CaCO3. Any compound with just a metal and carbon. These can include compounds like calcium carbide, CaC2, silicon carbide, SiC, and aluminum carbide, Al4C3, and hydrocyanic acid, HCN, or a compound with a metal and the CN or cyanide ion, including KCN and NaCN. Note that when the CN group appears along with other carbon atoms in a compound, the compound is organic. An example is CH3CN, an organic compound called acetonitrile. To help you identify organic compounds, it's good to know a few of the common types and some examples of each. One type of organic compound is hydrocarbons. These contain only carbon and hydrogen. For these, C always comes first in the formula. Because a carbon atom has four bonds and can bond to other carbon atoms or to hydrogen, a huge number of hydrocarbon compounds are possible. A few examples are methane, CH4, propane, C3H8, benzene, C6H6, and a type of paraffin wax, C25H52. Another common type of organic compound is alcohols. These contain carbon and hydrogen with one or more OH groups. Some examples of alcohols are methanol, CH3OH, ethanol, C2H5OH, and pantanol, C5H11OH. A third type of organic compound is organic acids. These are also called carboxylic acids. Their formulas are often written in a way that shows the COOH group. Some examples are methanoic acid, HCOOH, acetic acid, found in vinegar, CH3COOH, and benzoic acid, C6H5, COOH. A fourth type of organic compound is organic salt. In an organic salt, a hydrogen atom in an organic acid is replaced by a metal, which is usually K or Na. A couple of examples are potassium acetate, KCH3COO, and potassium citrate, K3C6H507. A fifth type of organic compound is carbohydrates. Carbohydrates include sugars, starches, and cellulose. They all contain CH and O atoms. Two common examples of carbohydrates are the sugars glucose, C6H12O6, and sucrose, C12H22O11. A sixth type of organic compound is polymers. Polymers consist of very large molecules containing carbon, hydrogen, and sometimes other atoms. Polymers are the compounds that plastics are made from. One example is polyethylene, 
shown by the formula CH3, CH2 in brackets N, CH3, where N is a very large number. It can be as high as 10,000, depending on the type of polyethylene. A seventh type of organic compound is amino acids. Amino acids contain carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen atoms. One example is alanine, shown by the structural formula here. Long chains of amino acids are called proteins. Proteins make up a significant part of our bodies. The types we listed here are only a few of the common types of organic compounds. There are many more types of organic compounds, and they all contain carbon and hydrogen atoms. And many contain oxygen, nitrogen, chlorine, sulfur, and other elements. Thank you.